welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Tommy Bikes Homestead. Thank you for being here. Um, so today I look a hot mess, but I just got through blowing my yard and getting most of the leaves into piles. And on a different day, I'll just, you know, put them in bags. And so I said, well, let me transfer, well, repot my, um, I said, let me repot my tomatoes today. So that's what I'll be doing. But I have other things I have to repot as well, but I'll do those in separate videos, even though it'll be on the same day. So before I begin, I wanted to say, there are so many things that you can grow in. If you're on a budget and you're trying to figure out, well, I can't afford all of these different buckets, containers, and things like that. I have this plastic bag right here. All you gotta do is put holes in it, put your soil in it, and grow in it, and you have a grow bag. Um, right here, I bought some cupcakes um, a couple weeks ago, and I saved the container. This is the container for the cupcakes. You have all your individual spots that you can put soil in, put your seeds in, push the top down, and now you have you a little greenhouse. Same thing with these, um, I had some, what is it, the red velvet cupcakes that I had got on my Sam's haul. They were in here, I saved them. This was a month ago. I saved them and just never got around to it. So I did clean those things out. Same deal with the cupcake thing. You just put your soil in the bottom. Well, first you gotta put your holes in it, in the bottom. Put your soil in, close it down. Now you have a greenhouse. Then you have your grape container right here. I got these a few weeks ago. So these already have the holes in them. So you don't even have to do anything but clean it out, put your soil in it, put your seeds in, water it, put the top down, and now you have another greenhouse. And it has holes on the top as well as the bottom. So, so many things, so many ideas. It's never, I mean, you could use anything power eight bottles i've seen people do that you can do so many things y'all my head is a hot freaking mess okay y'all so let's get to the tomatoes okay y'all i had to come outside because i'm running out of space in the house um to do this in my kitchen and i made a mess the last time i did it in my kitchen so i put my soil in here since you know my bag tipped over in the house and i was like I don't know about this so this is just a container that i got from and it's food grade i got this from walmart y'all for one dollar and um the other day i went in walmart a different one and they gave me two buckets and didn't charge me anything so it's hit or miss whether it's free or not but i haven't seen anybody say they bought any over three dollars so anyway I had these to store things in. I'm making a mess. I had these to store things in, y'all. So, I'm sorry for the sun, but I have my soil in here. And what I did was I mixed my seed starting with my potting mix. And it made my potting mix so much more fluffier. And I don't wanna waste it all like I just did. So, I'm gonna move this out my way. I just have to reach down and get it. I use a cup if I need. It. I got these cups from the Dollar Tree the other day. Um, I didn't do. I don't think I did a, a haul on them. They had them in blue, purple, and green, and I call them the little pastel colors. Um, they were over in the section where you get cups at, so they weren't with like any Easter things or anything like that. So. Oh, y'all, please subscribe to the channel. I almost forgot to say, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. These come 16 um, 
Yeah, 16 cups and the 16 fluid ounces in here. And then of course I have my jumbo craft sticks. And then I also have these right here to write on. So right here, let me go down. And y'all, y'all remember me saying that my mouth gets dry ever since I had um, COVID back in November. And I'm having that moment right now. <laughs> Um, I did blow my yard the best I could. Um, I have so many leaves, even the neighbor leaves, y'all. I'm tired of that. But anyway, I blowed everything down to one area, cleaned out this walkway. Um, and then all around here, I have everything over there in a pile for me to put into bags for mulch. And then I did another pile over here. So it looks a lot better. It's just this little section right here that you're looking at is gonna change. Um, most likely I'm gonna get, my husband is gonna do two more raised beds for me, or either I'll just have buckets in this area, but they'll be spaced out. And I will have some mulch right here to have a walkway and so that's what that's gonna be. And uh, what I did was I had dropped a bunch of different, well, not different, but I dropped a bunch of seeds into one, not knowing if they would all germinate. And to my surprise, they did germinate. Majority of them did. So now I have to separate them. And I need another container out here to catch whatever soil because I can't afford to waste no soil, y'all. Yes, I'm doing it outside, but I will not be leaving these outside. These have been in the house and that's where they will remain is in the house. Because I'm only going to put one stick in one. I'm just going to write on the rest of them. So all I'm going to do is the same thing basically I did for the cucumbers. And that is... To loosen up the soil like this and you see it's water dripping out here so they're good and moist i don't have to worry about that um just if i put any new soil into it which i will do in the bottom i'm going to add a little bit of the um seed starting and potting mix that i made and sometimes you have to just try to fix your stuff yourself. I see nice roots on it, so we're just gonna separate it, let it break apart by itself, and just do what we can do to not damage the roots. And there will be some that won't survive, so I will repot all of these into these cups because there will be some that won't make it. Now getting them apart is gonna be something else. Okay, there we go. Two, I'm only going to do the ones that have good roots on them. Three, four, so far so good. Five, six, and this is seven and eight. Let's see how well they do when I take them apart. Awesome. Yes, we are. Just use the knife so we don't tear up.
just like that. So let me put some holes in these cups and I will be right back. So what I'm doing now, I took all of the tomatoes out of the red cups and placed them over on the side of this pan that I have them in. I have the soil that came out of in here. So I'm doing now is I'm taking the um, potting mix and the seed starting mix that I've put together and I'm putting that at the bottom. And then I'm filling in the rest with what they came out of. And then on top, I add a little more of the seed starting mix. And this is just something that I'm doing. Everybody does it different. You don't have to do it this way. This is how I'm doing mine. So, add some soil. some seed starting mixture and now I'm just going to separate these be as gentle as you can and they most for the most part, they all have really good roots, so I will be replanting them. I was trying to say the ones that don't have, like look at that one, really good roots on them that I wasn't gonna do them. But so far, they look really good together. I'm just taking my two fingers, making a hole in the cup, and then I'm going down as far as my hole will go and then I will push the soil up around the tomato little tomato plant that is take some of this richer soil and put it around the top and just press lightly to get it to hold into place, but not so tight where the soil doesn't remain loose. And there you have it, I repotted my tomato. And that's all it is to it, y'all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't want to have a extremely long video done. So again, I will be back as soon as I am done with these. Okay, y'all, so I'm done with repotting my tomatoes. I'm about to take them back in the house. They look good. Some of them look like they might end up struggling, but we'll see. We'll see. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, hit the red button, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, share out the video if you can, and leave me some comments down below. Let me know how you're doing your tomatoes or if you're planting them and what are you planting in your indoor garden to prepare for the spring. And y'all remember, I love you, but God loves you more, more, more than me. And be kind to yourself, love yourself. And if you sell something, you will grow something. I you me, you me, you me, you me, yeah. I believe in you me, you me, you me, you me, yeah. Let's stay here for.